The movie revolves around a young couple, John and Alice, who are struggling badly with their finances. Life has become so tough that they don't even have food in the kitchen and the rent has been overdue for months. John actually has a job at a marketing company, but due to his low self-esteem and high workload, he earns close to nothing. To make matters worse, his boss always threatens to fire him if he doesn't improve his sales. On the other hand, Alice goes to regular job interviews, but she is always rejected due to her lack of experience. When she is home, the flirty landlord Arnie usually arrives to collect rent and make her feel bad. He especially likes to point out what a failure of a person her husband is. One night, John and Alice attend a fancy party without knowing the dress code. They reach there in casual attire, while everyone else is in formal dress. Nevertheless, they decide to stay at the party, which is hosted by one of their college friends, Peyton. Turns out, he has become rich and influential, just like all their classmates. This makes John and Alice feel even worse, but they can at least enjoy free drinks, which is a rare luxury for them these days. The next day, John wakes up with a bad hangover and throws up since he drank a lot of free alcohol. Don't forget, it's a luxury. Alice goes to get him some lime water, but realizes that the refrigerator is empty. No water, even. Hence, they decide to go to the market with whatever money they have. On the way, they get into an accident, but fortunately, both of them are left unharmed. Shortly after, as John is chatting with the police, Alice notices an old woman fetching a shiny teapot from the garbage. There's an antique store just nearby. Curious, she hastily crosses the road, narrowly avoiding a car, and goes inside the store. There, she chats with the lady for a while and praises the artifacts on display. But when the lady gets distracted by a phone call, Alice steals the glowing teapot and runs away from there. John is stunned to see his wife stealing something for the first time, but in response, Alice says that she is only borrowing it. The following day, John heads out for his office while Alice irons her hair. As she is engrossed over the phone, she accidentally burns her head. I'm starting to understand why she doesn't have a job. At the same time, the teapot mysteriously moves, and when Alice opens the lid, she finds some money inside. This shocks her big time. Wanting to know how the money got there, Alice repeats what she did earlier. That is, she intentionally burns her head. To her delight, the teapot again coughs up some money. With this revelation, Alice starts hurting herself in different ways, and the more pain she suffers, the more cash the teapot poops out. Meanwhile, John's boss fires him for not achieving the selling target. He returns home with disappointment and finds his wife lying unconscious, bruised and scarred. Scared, he tries calling for help, but Alice suddenly gets up and says that she's okay. John then reveals that he was fired by his boss, and in response, Alice slaps him hard across the face. This puzzles the poor guy, but his mood quickly changes when Alice shows him the money in the teapot. This reveals the mysterious artifact will dispense money if either one of the couple gets hurt. Alice explains all this to John, but as expected, he doesn't believe it. To prove herself, she kicks her husband brutally, and the teapot gives out an even bigger sum of cash. This finally convinces John, and so the couple spend the whole night hurting each other physically. At one point, they become so tired that John starts having doubts about the teapot. He believes that it is going to bring break apart their relationship and cause even deeper problems for them. Alice, who is clearly the greedier of the two, explains that they will throw the teapot away when they earn one million dollars, but John is not convinced. The next morning, while Alice is asleep, John takes the teapot back to the store. However, there is no one inside, so he takes the pot to an antique road show instead. The valuator calculates that the teapot is worth $5,000, but this is far less than what John had expected, so he returns back home with it. Meanwhile, as the teapot pot is shown on the television, a guy named Dr. Ling notices it and plans to meet John for some unknown reason. In the next scene, we see that the couple is back to their usual greedy ways. They intentionally burn their hands on a gas stove to make more money. They also indulge in other sorts of painful activities like waxing, tooth extraction without anesthesia, getting tattoos, and some kinky stuff in bed. Oh. All this while, the pot keeps on discharging money, making them rich. The couple stashes all the money in their bathroom as they don't want to pay tax. Taxes. The following day, they are joined by Alice's family for dinner. Everyone makes fun of Alice for not having a child and being jobless. Wow. But once they notice the lavish items around the house, they curiously inquire what John is doing. In response, he jokingly says that he's into real estate. Later, John and Alice celebrate the clearing of their debts. They cannot believe that they have completely turned their lives around with the help of a mere teapot. As the two continue celebrating, there is a sudden knock on the door. When John goes to inspect, two Jewish brothers suddenly barge inside and beat him up. Cha-ching. They have come looking for the teapot, which apparently belonged to their grandmother. The poor woman had been protecting it since the 
Holocaust. But last week when it got stolen, she became so depressed that she passed away due to a heart attack. Now, the brothers have come to retrieve the teapot and take it home. However, Alice lies that she already sold it some days ago in an auction. She has even spent half the money on makeup products. When the brothers hear this, they angrily ask for the rest of the money. In response, Alice sneakily grabs some cash out of the teapot that it made from John's beating. She then hands it over to the brothers, prompting them to finally leave the place. After the close call, John and Alice decide to learn more about the teapot. They go to an old library and find a book containing information about it. As Alice goes through it alone, she finds something shocking in one of the pages and tears it out without John's knowledge. From the rest of the book, they learn that the teapot is from the time of Christ, and it has extraordinary powers with unsavory consequences. John becomes worried and tries to find the page about the consequences, but Alice, who has already torn it out, lies that it isn't there. Later, they buy a fancy car, a massive house in a wealthy neighborhood, and John even starts a vodka label in his name. They even host a party in their new place and invite all of their rich friends. In the middle of the festivities, Dr. Ling suddenly arrives at the door, claiming John and Alice are in grave danger. He says he is from a community which deals with ancient artifacts and magic, and that he is interested in buying the teapot. John becomes intrigued by the offer and contemplates selling it, but his greedy wife shuts the door on Ling and sends him away. The following night, as John and Alice are beating and hurting each other for cash, Arnie notices them and learns about the teapot's powers. As a result, he barges inside their house, steals the teapot, and runs away. John follows him outside and the two engage in a minor tussle. This results in the teapot being thrown on the road, and soon after, a truck runs over it. But to everyone's surprise, the teapot is still intact. It hasn't even sustained a single scratch. This finally makes the couple realize that they are dealing with some supernatural stuff. So, the very next morning, they seek out Dr. Ling for help. The latter explains that owning the teapot will always result in something bad, as all of its previous owners have either committed the unthinkable or been murdered. He further reveals that the teapot makes its owners greedy, forcing them to commit unimaginable and heinous acts. Dr. Ling then tries to persuade the couple to hand it over to him, claiming that there is still time to save themselves. However, John and Alice once again refuse and walk away. Later at night, Alice suddenly wakes up and realizes that someone has broken into their house. She quickly informs John about it, and when they head downstairs, they find the Jewish brothers stealing all of their money. Scared, John brings forward the teapot and offers it to them, but the brothers refuse. One of them reveals that they never wanted the teapot in the first place, as they know it only brings pain and suffering. They came here for the money, and nothing else. Saying all of this, the brothers walk away from the house. The following day, John and Alice wake up completely broke. To make matters worse, the teapot has stopped giving cash. Since it has grown accustomed to small injuries and beatings, now it demands more pain and suffering. Desperate, the couple walks into a bar where John intentionally picks a fight with a tough guy. As he gets knocked out cold, the teapot finally dispenses money, making Alice happy. One day, while Alice is at the park, she notices the pot producing money when a local skater falls off and gets hurt. This makes her realize that they can earn money without even hurting themselves. She tells John about the incident, and they visit different places, like UFC matches and the maternity ward, where a woman is giving birth to a child. This starts taking a toll on the couple's psyche, especially Alice, who becomes greedy and desires more and more money. One day, while on their way home, she intentionally tries to run a man over to make a lot of cash. But fortunately, John takes over the steering in the nick of time and prevents the accident. He then scolds her for being crazy. And in response, Alice also hurls some curse words at him. When they reach home, they are stunned to find the pot filled with cash. This makes them realize that the teapot also dispenses money for emotional pain. Hence, they resort to badmouthing each other every day, believing that it is easier than hurting themselves. The next morning, the couple sits down and prepares to break each other's heart. At first, they open up about their extramarital affairs and how they had one night stands with other people. When Alice says that she slept with Arnie, John gets furious and decides to to take revenge. He goes straight to Arnie's house and curses at his wife. To their surprise, the teapot once again releases cash, indicating that the trick works with other people's emotions as well. With this information, the couple starts meeting their friends and relatives to reveal their darkest secrets. This severs their relationships with a lot of people, but they couldn't care less. This is a perfect analogy for being a Twitch streamer. One day, Alice decides to take things to a different level. She plans on killing a sex offender 
trader or a drug dealer to make more money. John tries to object, but Alice eventually convinces him by saying that these people are the scum of society and they don't deserve to live. Later, as they are digging a grave, John has a sudden change of heart and tries to stop his wife. He reminds Alice of the evil that the teapot has drawn out of her. However, she brushes him aside and declares that she is not going to stop. She will carry out the murder with or without his help. Hearing this, a panicked John rushes to Dr. Ling for help, but the latter claims that it is already too late. The teapot has taken over Alice and corrupted her mind. There is only one way to stop all of this, though. Alice has to willingly hand over the teapot to him. Later, as Alice comes out of the shower, she notices John on the window. He is holding the paper that Alice had previously torn out of the book, mentioning the unsavory consequences. John asks her to choose between him and the teapot. When she doesn't say anything, he throws himself out the window. The sight sends Alice into a state of panic, and she quickly rushes to check up on her husband. Fortunately, he is alive and well. This finally makes Alice realize what a bad person she has become. She tearfully confesses that her life and all the money would be meaningless without John's presence. So, she decides to get rid of the teapot. However, later at night, Arnie breaks into their house yet again and takes the teapot away. The couple find out about the theft the following day and immediately suspect that Arnie has taken it. They rush to the police and find it completely trashed. Moreover, both Arnie and his wife are covered in cuts and bruises. It appears that they went through the same ordeal our protagonist couple went through some weeks before. At the same time, the Jewish brothers also arrive at the scene and an intense shootout ensues. Arnie and his wife, along with the Jewish brothers, are killed on the spot. Spot, but John and Alice survive. They quickly grab the teapot and the cash made out of the four deaths before fleeing the scene. After a while, they approach Dr. Ling and finally hand the teapot over to him. This marks the end of their curse, and now they are finally free. The movie ends as Dr. Ling takes the teapot and throws it away into the sea where no one can find it. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.